Right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some more bits to the 86. Today we're going to be installing some more security orientated items because recently car stealing and people breaking into cars has been on the rise so I thought I'd install two things that are going to be very helpful when it comes to keeping my car safe from those idiots out there. So today the two items in question I'll bring you round are the car lock app which I'm pretty sure you guys probably know about because they have been picking up everybody recently so this is basically just a tracker fit it to OBD and it will know where your car is at all times you can check it on your phone it's a pretty cool little bit of kit we're going to be whacking that in real quick and I'll show you how that works and then slightly more importantly for me anyway is a dash cam because I think that most road users don't know how to drive cars and they shouldn't have licenses so I think a dash cam would be very useful to making sure that I am safe in the event of an unfortunate accident. This one was sent to me by Van True so make sure to go and hit them up I'll leave links for both of these guys down in the description it is not a paid promotion they sent them out to me in order to just try out and give a review on they haven't paid me for them but I suppose you could you could probably call it product placement so that's what we're going to be doing for today just some security bits of the car now i was also looking at the comments in the exhaust install video and a lot of you were saying why didn't you rev the car up when you fitted it like we all wanted to hear the noise of you revving it and you didn't do it it's because i was in a public car park there were people shopping i didn't want to be that asbo kid however we are now in a slightly less slightly less residential area where I don't actually care as much for the people around me. So I will give you a quick little sound clip of what the car sounds like with the new NVIDIA cat back on. Anyways, back to the video. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing this car lock tracker. It literally goes in the OBD port. You download an app and that is it. So we're going to do that really quickly. And then we're going to get onto the dash cam, which will probably be slightly more tricky because it does actually involve me using some wires. But let's put this in first and then I'll show you guys the app. Okay guys, so here is the car lock tracker. It plugs into your OBD port. Nice, subtle, stealthy. Hopefully won't get stolen from your car. That would be pretty upsetting, but yeah, I'm gonna whack this in the OBD port and then show you guys the app. Right, so I've got the car lock all set up. It is now plugged into the car and it is asking me to go for a little drive. Hey guys, so it's telling me to go for a drive to get GPS location and then it should be able to just track my whip. Apparently we're somewhere near Dover Street Market, which is completely wrong. So we're gonna go for a little drive and hopefully it knows where I am. Okay, so I've just been for a drive and that knows where I am and I'm gonna guess that basically there's a little ring around your car and that is your perimeter. So what if you wanted to basically park your car for the night, all you would have to do is press that and then it would come up with a little orange ring around your car. There we go, the ring around my car now is orange, which means that if it moves out of this area, it will notify me on my phone. So if someone tried to steal my car, drove off, went like down here, then it would notify me. So they've got like a tiny little radius to drive in before the car notices that you have driven away. As far as I know, this isn't the only feature of the car lock as well. There are other features including, so you can also detect your, basically everything to be honest, to do with the car. How many trips you've done, your average speed, your top speed, your driving score, which is currently 100 because I'm basically a race car driver. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You have other, other things as well. It tells you when you've been connected. That, I have absolutely no idea what that is. It's probably something that I should have. Uh, settings and then the profile as well. Apparently my car is uh, an Audi A3, which is really interesting. So yeah, that is the car lock tracker. Go and check them out down below. I'll give a link and all that stuff. They did not pay me. They just sent me the product because they wanted me to have one. And I have decided to show you guys on YouTube. It was originally just for Instagram, but I thought I would plug it to you guys over on YouTube as well, just in case you were interested in getting some sort of tracker. This is the one to go for. It is pretty savage. Do you mind, Alex? Uh, I'm trying to film a video. Stop it. Right, anyways, so the next thing to install is this Van True on dash N2 Pro. This was sent to me by, well, Van True, and I was supposed to make a video for them a little while back, but I never got around to fitting this, so today is the day that we're gonna do that. It seems like a fairly simple install. I have already opened it up, as you can see. 
just to have a little look at the contents. I've charged the dash cam up. I've actually also gone ahead and got myself a micro SD card because uh, it didn't come with one. So I got one of those as well. So hopefully we should be able to get this up and running uh, and I'll be able to show you the dash cam and all of its little features. It's a pretty nifty little bit of kit. So massive thank you to Van True for sending this out to me. I will leave all of their links down below in the description. Okay, so here is the dash cam. So it's got a front facing camera, which is 1440p Super HD according to that little bit of plastic there uh, and then on the back there is also a rear facing camera which can move up and down as well as you can see and i think that more or less faces the driver and the occupants of the vehicle i thought it more faced out the back window but it definitely doesn't uh, and then there is a small screen for you to use the features there's some buttons on the bottom there's buttons on there and then there's the mount on the top for when you actually stick it onto the windshield so without further ado let's get this on it's really light alex alex you ready 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 Oh, you're pretty good with catch it. <laughs> what if it just flew out of the car? <laughs> Vandro. Okay, now they have supplied us with a 12 volt. Alex passing it to me, there we go. So it's a 12 volt charger, so the camera is always charging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and feed it through the top of the roof liner, down the A pillar, down into the dashboard. There's a little cubby hole there that you can open, and there is a 12 volt charging port inside the glove box. So Hopefully, if all goes to plan, you shouldn't see a wire, only the one that like barely sticks out when you stick it over here. So, without further ado, it is an Alex and Sean Bodge job. Okay, so I've just taken this little bit off, which is uh, the little bit that covers up the side of the dashboard. Lily, do you want to actually... You're not camera shy, though, are you, babe? Not on a reel, are you camera shy? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> she's not camera shy, guys. She just hates it when I just point it straight at her face. <laughs> But the look, she's repping she's repping the clout today, look. Clout? The clout. And then obviously I'm also repping the clout. Look at that. Look. Repping Always repping broke boys because I'm broke. And that's a fact. And you're a boy. And I'm a boy. <laughs> well done, Alex. Two hours later. Right, if we just if we if we just I think that's about that's pretty good to be honest. Right, oh god! Right, if we just how does this work? Oh no, Alex, I'm actually doing it. No, look, I should actually fit dash cams. Oh! They didn't say it was going to be hard. The only thing is, I don't know where this is going to go. I'm pushing it down, but I don't know where it's going to end up. Because it's going to have to like... I feel like I should do it the other way around. Oh, one minute. No, Alex, I'm actually doing bits. Wait, right, I'm actually doing bits here. So if that goes in there like that, I'm actually a professional wire tucker. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing for? Ah! <sighs> Toyota, why did you make such a solid interior even though it's not? It's like the rattliest interior in the whole world. <sighs> I think that's what it's... It's the oh shit handle. Oh! No, I actually just ripped my roof liner. <laughs> did you hear that noise? <laughs> that was my roof liner getting written off. The thing is, yeah, it's going to be great like this for five minutes. I'm going to go over one speed bump and the whole thing's going to come off. But I'm gonna think that's a that's a later me problem. That's not a problem now. Oh god! I just push it all down. Oh, you hear me scratching the inside of the windscreen as well. I mean, to be fair, it's not actually that bad. I just need to tuck it down here. I'd say we've done all right. I think I've lifted the dashboard up a little bit. I've actually lifted the dashboard up by doing this. Oh well, minor. So, do you think that'll be all right? That'll be fine. Just leaving a little bit of wire until I figure it out. I'm not taking the dashboard off of this. There's no way. Well, the best bet would be to best put it all the way down, put it under the dashboard. If I took this whole A pillar off, I'd probably be able to feed it through it. Under the speaker? Yeah, but I just don't want to take the whole A pillar off because I know I'll probably snap some clips. Wait, let me just see how, how bad is it. Well, there's two clips on the side. Or two poppers on the side no. of the A pillar. Alex, I just found a fucking even better idea. What? Look, feed it through. Well, the plastic, the rubber. So if you feed it through the rubber, yeah, but then it's got nowhere to go. It's just sitting in the rubber. Oh, I've actually, I've cut that like a pro. You can't even see it. Would you even know that was there? Look at that. I'm besides that bit. Wouldn't? Would you even know that was there? Let me tuck that bit in. There we go. Oh no, I think I just popped the trim off. No, it's fine. It's fine. Do you know what this is going to do? This is just going to create more rattle. Do you think that's in the way? Not really. No. Or do you think that'd be alright? Well, we can see the inside your car as well, so it's fine. Yeah, I don't think it's... Where does the wire go? What side? Uh, this side. Yeah. 
Should be fine then. Okay, so I've managed to wire tuck the wiring for the dash cam so it goes up into the roof liner. I literally just yammed it up there so it's never coming out, hopefully, unless I go over a big pothole. Then I've tucked it round the A pillar through under here into these rubbers, which is probably going to cause my car to flood and turn into a swimming pool or something. Uh, and then it's come down there and then into this little cubby hole which is where the 12 volt charger sits and there is a small 12 volt port right there so hopefully this should all work pretty well so let's find out let's plug it in okay so i've done some more clearing up i put the little cubby hole on the side back on i've also cleaned up the glove box why is my one minute my lens is really dirty hold on i need something microfibery here we go sorry guys hold on just a second better? much better Right, so I also cleaned up the inside, so the little 12 volt is right there, and I've managed to tuck the wires all behind the glove box, so now the glove box isn't even restricted by any means. So now if I turn the ignition on, that should turn on, which it does. I need to get rid of that noise because it's the most annoying noise in the whole of the whole world. But yeah, anyways, that works. Sweet. Okay, so the dash cam works without a hitch, and I've actually managed to install something for the first time ever without breaking anything, which I'm pretty happy with. And I didn't get that confused. And I didn't make myself look like too much of an idiot, but we'll, we'll leave that for the comment. But yeah, so massive thank you to Carlock for sending me out the tracker. My car is now tracked and it means that I know when someone is trying to nick it. And I now have a dash cam set up, which means that if there is an unfortunate event where I end up in an accident or a crash or anything, then the dash cam should hopefully provide evidence of what actually happened. So pretty good the car is now a lot more safe in terms of my mind and actual features which is pretty good but other than that guys that is it for this video i'm gonna put the camera down here there we go oh wait I need to put something on it youtube problems there we go but yeah other than that guys that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching make sure to go and check out my other stuff on this car recently we've done an exhaust and we've done rear lights go and check those videos out and i have some more stuff coming soon i have wheels and lows as well coming soon so make sure you check out those videos go and subscribe to the channel and also hit up my social media as well because that's where you see all the behind the scenes stuff but anyways that is it from me thank you all very much for watching leave a like on the video and i'll catch you in the next one peace out guys